Hello everybody. I'm just making a quick little video here to explain how to take a test in our online course. Um, so you are re already have the essay. I've uploaded it on our um, week four module and you should have that ready to upload. Write it, get it all ready. You're, you can use the book for that um, and have it ready to upload. You will not have time to write it fresh. So have that ready to go. Um, you can just cut and paste it right into the answer. All right. Um, you uh, can take the test when you're ready. You have before midnight on Monday. I'm opening the test today. That is a long time. So study, get yourself ready. And when you have a, an, a free hour of quiet time, go ahead and log in and take the test. All right, you have a time limit of 60 minutes. Uh, I have set it up so there is no backtracking. That means you answer everything once and it moves forward. And this is because this is an online test. Obviously, you have the book at home. So if you have a question, you can't find it right away in the book, which you should not be doing, then uh, you don't have time to go back. And you really just don't have time to use the book. So study first. Um, so no backtracking. Once you submit it, that's it. Uh, one question at a time will be given. You're not given the whole exam at once. Um, the test will close itself after 60 minutes. It will kick you off and whatever you have will be recorded. Uh, any answer with specific passages or info from the textbook will be given a zero, including exact dates. I do not want exact dates. I only need time periods. For instance, the cave paintings are in Paleolithic or prehistoric, if that's all you can come up with. All right, so um, you'll get credit for that. I do not want 30 to 20,000 BCE. If you give me an exact date, I will give you a zero. You are most likely looking up in the book. I don't want you to memorize dates. And if you give any specific passages or info that looks like you just took it from the textbook, you will also be given a zero. Your answers should be your answers, please. All right, the question types. You are going to have matching. There will be pictures or images of things we've looked at. And there will be terms and relevant info that you will choose the best one for. Uh, some of these will be things like what it's made out of, the technique, that uh, all the terms that are in your review sheet, and then rele relevant information about the object. Um, you will be given multiple choice questions. A lot of those come right out of the uh, chapter quizzes, so they should look familiar. Um, this is a new thing probably for most of you, attributions. Attributions means you will look at something that you do not know or something you have not seen and you will attribute it to a time period and place based on what it looks like. So it will look like something from our three chapters. You will recognize it. It's not a trick. You'll recognize it as looking a lot like something. And you'll say, well, this looks like it's uh, so-and-so from this time period because it looks like this. And then the questions kind of guide you to do that. So attributions. Uh, comparisons. You'll be given two comparisons. You already had a paper that kind of got you practicing for this. Um, so I'll give you two things that have something in common, apples to apples kind of thing. And you should be able to... Um, make a comparison. They'll have very similar things to look at and talk about, and then they'll have different things to point out as well. And then you also uh, have a space on the test to upload the essay that I gave you. All right, so that's how it will be to take a test in this class. I'm sorry this seems very rigid about uh, this stuff up here. It can be very intimidating to take a test this way, but um, really online is a difficult place to give, a, give an exam. So uh, I apologize. This is just to eliminate any um, possible um, looking at the textbook which you have at your fingertips. All right. So email me if you have any questions or problems. I'm always here for you. Thank you.